Okay guys, on to our number 5 for best budget 3D printers. We have the PG printer. Some of the features for the PG printer include a super cheap cost of $100. It's easy to assemble, although it doesn't come assembled. It is very easy to assemble and can be assembled in many ways, which is where endless possibilities comes in. It doesn't necessarily have to be assembled like this. It can be assembled basically any way you want, which can give it technically an infinite print volume and infinite possibilities. And it has a pretty cool design. On to number four, we have the XYZ Printing Da Vinci Junior 1.0. Features of this printer include a $300 $350 cost depending on where you buy it. The MSRP is $350 USD, but on some websites it is not quite that. It's closer to $300. It's very easy to use. It's safe for kids, and this is a big one because if you're a teacher and you want to buy this for your class, this is a great choice because it has a good price and it's perfect for kids to use because it's so simple and safe. It has a fairly good build volume, which is nice also because that means you can build bigger things. And a cool design, of course. I mean, just look at it. That's pretty sweet. On to our number three, we have the 101 Hero Mini 3D printer. Some of its features include, it cost only $79. That's crazy. I mean, you will like never, probably in the next few years, you will never find a printer as cheap as this. It's cheap. <laughs> Thought I put that in there twice. It's easy to assemble. Like the PG printer, you have to assemble it yourself. But it's customizable and easy to assemble. Unlike the PG printer, it doesn't have infinite customizations, but you can like um, put skins on it to change the color and stuff like that, so I think that's pretty cool. It has a pretty good build volume, well, for the price, an amazing build volume. Um, pretty decent, so that's all. On to our number two, we have the XYZ Printing Da Vinci Mini. Some of the features of this printer. It costs $269, so very cheap. It has wireless printing. Now, this is the only time you'll see that on this list, and it's pretty awesome. I mean, no need for even an SD card or a USB port. That makes it a lot easier to just keep it on your desk, on your, in your room, instead of having to keep it on your desk plugged into your computers at all times so it gives you a lot more space and easier ways to store it and it's just more convenient this one like the da vinci junior is also safe for kids so that's always good it has a very good build volume especially for the price um i believe it's the biggest on this list somewhere around six inches cubed but I'm not exactly sure on that one. And a simple and easy to use design. So that's always good to have because it mean, makes 3D printing that much easier. Something I failed to mention about this one or put in this presentation, both this and the Da Vinci Junior automatically calibrate on their own, which is something really nice, especially for first time 3D printer users, users because calibrating can be a pain so having them calibrate for you makes it that much easier. Oh, it also has great software. I mean, along with the Da Vinci Junior, the XYZ printing software is very easy to use. Um, so it's simple and it has a lot of good features. And taking our number one spot is the Tico 3D printer. Some of its features include, it costs $179, so a very cheap price tag. 
ultra high quality prints up to 50 microns i believe which is so tiny it's like very it's awesome a simple space saving design i mean just look at how small this is compared to some of the other printers on our list and how compact and how you can't see any of the um hardware inside it's just a lot nicer to look at than a few of the other ones on this list it is a relatively fast printer especially for the price and it's easy to use um basically put your sd card usb in and press a button and it definitely has the best value i mean it's an amazing 3d printer especially for 180 dollars and currently it's only um from kickstarter pre-order there are rumors going around that the price might be raised to around two hundred dollars for just commercial sales but that's still a great value especially for something of this high quality okay guys thanks for watching and i'll hope to see you guys next time don't forget to like subscribe comment and share and this is GTN Official, signing off.